In this video, we're going to discuss about ESP32UART. UART is also known in Arduino as Serial. So why we need to discuss UART? UART is commonly used on different communication modules. Very popular is the GSM module where we use AT commands. There are also modules for LoRa that has AT commands as well. We can only use these modules if we know how to use UART. And knowing that ESP32 has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, it's a good combination with GSM, LTE, or LoRa communication. Common applications are IoT. Next is there are peripherals that is interfaced by a UART. The very common ones are the GPS modules in which the coordinates are transmitted or interfaced to a microcontroller by a UART. Uh, there are energy meters that also interface by a UART. So if you, are, if you have projects that need GPS tracking or IoT projects that has energy monitoring or energy harvesting application, then UART is also used on that. Also, UART is used when we are going to interface the ESP32 to other MCU. Like, if you're going to interface it with the Arduino Uno or other Arduino boards, or sometimes there are RS-485 communication that is also, also uses UART. These three are the major reasons why we need to understand how to use UART. This is the pinout of Node MCU dash 32s this is the this base on esp32 and you will see that there are different pins here you will see that there is tx0 then tx1 should be here and then tx2 these are the hardware uarts of esp32 so these are uart0 uart1 and uart2 there are a few things to remember about this these uart pins can be mapped on other pins as well but they are Place by default on these locations, like for this one on GPIO 1 and 3, uh, the UR2 will be on GPIO 16 and 17, and then GPIO 1 uh, and the UR1 will be on GPIO 9 and GPIO 10. Next is this UR, are this UR pins are 3.3 volts in logic, so you cannot directly interface it if your Arduino is 5 volts. Also, the UART0 is used for programming, so we will not use that for our external application. We will dedicate this UART0 for programming our ESP32. To do some demonstration, we will be connecting our ESP32 to an Arduino Uno. So, this Arduino must be converted to 3.3 volts so that we can directly connect the TX and the RX directly to the RX and TX as well of the ESP32. The ESP32 In ESP32, we are using, um, we're using UR2. So that is GPIO 16 and GPIO 17. By the way, if, you're, if your Arduino is not converted to 3.3 volts, you just need to use a voltage divider in this pin, in pin 1, so that the 5 volts will be reduced to 3.3 volts. If you want to convert your Arduino Uno to 3.3 volts, I will put the link down below on how to do that. On this application, you will use UR2, as what I've said, and let's now go on our Arduino code. I will now write some codes for the side of the Arduino Uno that will transmit some UR signals so we will initialize the, the serial and then we will just transmit something like serial print one um, 100 so let's say that's the value that we're going to transmit and then we delay something like one 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 point five seconds delay so this should be small. Let's now upload this to our Arduino board. Okay, selected. Let's upload it. 
Now it's uploaded. Let's now go on, uh, on the code for our ESP32. The code for ESP32 is here on the right. So what it does is first we see, we initialize the UART0 so that we can have a, we can print the data being transmitted with the Arduino Uno. And then we initialize the serial 2. This is the main difference between Arduino Uno and ESP32. This is the format on how we're going to initialize UART in ESP32. So we're going to use UART2 that will that will be the one who will be receiving the, the data that is being transmitted by the Arduino. So let's put some serial dot print data received. Okay, so let's now try to upload this. We will now select uh, ESP32 uh, node ES node MCU 32-S and then you also have to select the right port. So instead of this, we have to select this, Silicon Labs. Then let's try to upload it. Connecting. Now it's uploading. Done uploading. Let's see what, what do we get here. Data received. As you see, data received is 100 and then there's a new line there I'm not sure but as you see we are now receiving the 100 that is being transmitted by the Arduino Uno I hope you find this example meaningful and useful this is just an introduction on how we use UART in ESP32 and in the next videos we're going to go more in depth on this application if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.